Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Blue Golfball here today with another Pokemon TCG online video and today we are going to be opening 100 evolution packs and uh, I know you guys have been anticipating this. It's I'm actually pretty late to the party since evolution's been out for like a week now, but still 100 packs. I got 100 of these and uh, let's go ahead and open these up. Take a look and see what we're going to get off these evolution packs here. These guys have been going just uh, they, they've been selling because you know this is all the way back from the base set days. And uh, a lot of these, you know, the same artwork and everything and the same moves, you know, just a little bit updated, updated HP, updated uh, attacks, uh, you know, damage from the attacks and stuff like that. But still, this is going to be exciting. Uh, let's go ahead and open these right up. Let's go ahead and open pack number one, Evolutions. Man, I cannot say enough of this Evolution set. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a set review, but uh, just haven't had the time. Plus, you know, it's already been out. You guys already seen it. So, you know, why not? Anyways, wow, some very vintage cards, man. I love looking at these. Of course, Diggler got a little bit of update with that Submerge ability. Let's take a look and see what the rare is for this. Uh, oh, and we get a Beedrill. It is still 120 HP. I think the uh, original print was like 80 HP. So, 120, that's pretty standard for all Beedrills. I mean, uh, if you look at all the other Beedrills here, <laughs> they're all at 120. Uh, he's kind of, that's like his cap. He can never go any higher than 120. Um... But yeah, ooh, this guy's all the way from the Heart Gold and Soul Silver era. I don't have any of those. Uh, so yeah, we have that D Evolution spray. Thank goodness that's reprinted. So uh, we have all these guys here again. This is all the way back in the Dragons Exalted. You can see right there. Um, well, reprint. Uh, well, more like uh, this is a reprint from the original, which yeah came back from the uh, base set days. Uh, we have the Slow Brawl Spirit Link, of course, getting that redesign to that retro redesign right there. Pretty cool. Of course, these guys as well all getting some update here with 60 HP, a little bit of bumper here and there. But I think the levels are still the same. The Diglett's still at level 8 and stuff like that. I wonder if that's still the same as the originals. But anyways, let's open uh, pack number 2. Can we get something amazing here? Look at that energy. The classic legendary energy from back in the day. And we get a Gyarados. Look at this. 130 HP, level 41. Gyarados. Bubble Bean hits for 50. And that Dragon Rage hit for 180. I don't remember what the original uh, attack was uh, on the uh, original card in the base set. Um, but yeah, <laughs> if you get one tail, that your, your Dragon Rage does nothing. So uh, it could work very well with Flipteeny or something like that. Maybe if you want to do the Trick Coin. Uh, you know, Flipteeny for Expanded, of course. Got a Reverse Hollow Haunter there, also a full heal, and we got that Pokedex as well. And for the rare, we get the Legendary Pokemon. It's not that legendary. I think in the uh, original base set, it was actually the... I don't think it was a rare. I think it was only an uncommon. But Ken Sugimori, his artwork is just beautiful. This guy deserves, definitely deserves. If there's any card that deserves to be a rare, even though it wasn't, it's this card here. Uh, Burning Road, once you're during return, before you attack, if this Pokemon was on your bench and became a reactive Pokemon this turn, you may uh, move any number of fire energy attached to this Pokemon uh, from your Pokemon to this Pokemon. So, uh, very generic, right? So, Pokemon, uh, so it's generic, it's not very uh, type specific. It doesn't say from your fire energy Pokemon to this Pokemon. So, it could be any Pokemon on your bench, right? So, that's kind of nice. Uh, Scorching Breath, it's for 150. This Pokemon can attack during your next turn. So, if you're playing Expanded, you can use Caldeo to stand in and retreat. Or, if you're playing in uh, standard format, you can use something uh, like uh, Zoroark to um, stand in and retreat. Oh, I forgot, uh, Caldeo is rushing and retreat there. there. <laughs> okay, so there's your RK9 right there. Can't attack in the next turn, hits for 150. You play on a muscle band, you can hit for. If you're in, ex in expanded, of course, you can play muscle band and you can hit for um, 170 off that attack. And we get a DCE there. I do like them DCEs. Those things are awesome. Hey, we get the Mewtwo here 130 HP, Mewtwo Psychic, and Barrier during your turn. During your points next turn, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, send this Pokemon. If one of your Pokemon used Barrier during your last turn, this attack can't be used. So you can only use it one turn. And uh, I don't know if you can reset it with Caldeo or with uh, Zoroark to Russian and stuff because it's just as long as this attack was done, right, if, it, if a barrier happened, then you can't be used. Now, um, you could find ways to maybe um, team this up with uh, Whale Lord and Tank, right? Uh, you know, or something like that. Whale Lord, 200, uh, 250 HP. Uh, plus, if you're in Expanded or you know, if you're in Standard, you can use Fighting Fury Bell and Expanded, you use Giant Cape or something like that. Um, I mean, yeah, you can do that and uh, retreat your Mewtwo, bring out your uh, your big bad old uh, Whale Lord, something like that. A uh, variety of things you can probably do with that barrier there. Anyway, let's go ahead and open another pack right here. And uh, I don't even remember what pack number this is, but um, 
get the uh, we have uh, more more full heals, energy shields, and we have a dugong here, 120 HP, level 42 dugong here. We take down hidden for 90 and doing 22 damage to yourself. Super deep dive, healing 40 damage from this Pokemon. You can switch. That's kind of neat too. Of course, we have all these other classic characters here. We have the uh, that was kind of that sounded kind of Scottish or something like that. We have uh, Onyx on a level. Um, 12. It didn't get too much of an increase. I think Onyx was at 90 HP back in the day, and now it's at 100 HP. Here's the Machop for 70 HP. I think the original Machop was already at 60, something like that. Uh, here's that Weedle, and then I don't think Weedle got an, in an HP increase at all, or got an increase for anything. I think the Poison Sting was the same thing. If anything, it did get a, an HP increase, maybe from 30 to 40. I feel like it was already 40 HP, but the Staryu did get an increase from HP. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, too bad we don't have any of those special editions markers right here. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and open another pack here on Pokemon TCG Online for these evolution sets. Here we go. We got the Rattata, Mischievous Fang. Got the Brock's Grit here. Hopefully we can get the full art of that, huh? Uh, we got a maintenance, maintenance right there. We got the Electabuzz, the Energy Magic Carp right here with the Flail, and a Polyworld. Here we go, Malagmar, and another Beedrill. Okay, let's go ahead and open another pack right here. We are still under 10 packs, and we have yet to get a Secret Rare, Ultra Rare, something like that. We have a Caterpie, Ghastly, Drowsy, Electabuzz, Magikarp, Parallel World, and stuff like that. We've got the Professor's Hint right here. Um, obviously, we already have Professor Sycamore, and uh, you know, if you're playing Expander, you have Professor Juniper. So Professor Oak's Hint is the same thing as um, uh, was it, uh, Tropical Beach. Uh, drawn so you have seven cards in hand, then your turn ends. Um, so that's kind of sucky there. But anyways, we have the Doug Jewel here, 90 HP. I think the, uh, the original base set one, he had 70 HP. So we get a 20 HP uh, boost right here, and then level 36. Uh, slash is for 40, just a DCE, you can do that. And then, um, of course, you play, like, let's say, uh, Muscle Band. Not Muscle Band, but, uh, well, if you're playing Expanded, you play Muscle Band. Um, if you have something like uh, two Strong Energies, that's already another 40. So you can for 80 right here, plus Muscle Band. If you're playing Expanded, that's 100 damage right there for two Energies. Uh, so there's your Doug Trio, huh? That's the rare for this one. And uh, this next pack right here, what are we going to get? we got the Nidoran, Ponyta, Seal. we got the Growlithe, got the Energy. <laughs> this is this didn't exist back then, so this is how it looks like here. we got the Machoke right here, Cry Chop, and Submission. Here's another Professor's Oak Scent. And then for two rares in this one, we got the Electro, the 80 HP, 40, level 40 right here. And a Surfing Pikachu! Woohoo! It is a secret rare here, number 111 out of 108. That's kind of cool. We did get something off of that. So I don't know if I really want to count this, because this secret Pikachu, secret rare Pikachu here is pretty worthless. I mean, that's not worthless, worthless but like... It, it's not really useful in game, right? Like you're never gonna surf on someone. You know, this guy's only 50 HP. You know, are, are you really gonna go on the surf? Yeah. Okay. Um, alrighty. I mean, not not that it's not uh, it's worthless or anything. It's just not very useful in competitive play. Uh, we have the Misty's determination. We have a revive right here. Oh man, look at this artwork. Huh? Isn't that great? We have the Nidoran, Volpix, Charmander, Voltorb Seal, and a coughing right there, as well as a far fetched. And I did mention before, this part over here could be used for expanded format with the Mew, EX, and Dimension Valley, being able to use a Leak Slap, and then also having, if you're in expanded, you can use Caldeo to rush in and retreat, and then just resetting that Leak Slap, and then uh, using the uh, Mew, EX to continually do Leap Slap uh, over and over again. So something like that could happen. I don't know. Let's go ahead and see what else we got right here. So we are still, this is pack number 10, I think, right? So we still have 90 packs left. We have the Growlithe, Chama Chop, Pikachu here. This is a fat Pikachu with an awe and Thunderbolt. Jun Thunder, bleh. Thunder Jolt. We have the Charmander and stuff like that. Coughing Vulpix and another Misty's Determination as well as the Revive. And for the rare, we got another Mewtwo. Two of these Mewtwo's here, Psychic and Barrier. And I feel like I, I should probably build a deck around this Mewtwo at some point. This attack does 20 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. If they have two energies, then it's going to hit for 60 HP or 60 damage for only uh, a DC. Now, if you're playing Expanded again, you can use Dimension Valley and they can only use for one. Get away with only one energy and hit for 60 damage if your opponent has two energy cards or something like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. Something like that could work out if you want to play a competitive deck with Mew to I could see it happening, but uh, you're going to have to really make it work. So anyways, we have the Dojuo here. Sorry, you Weedle, Pikachu, Machop, Machoke, and another Duck Drill. We already have Duck Drill, so... Um, no full arts, no EXs as of yet. We have a Magnemite, uh, Ghastly, Sanshu, Electabuzz, Vulpix, and here is the Ninetales. Ooh, and it's not hollow, but that's okay. And here it is. We have another secret rare. We have the Executor, our 80 HP Executor with a stomp here. Flip a coin if heads this attack does 10 more damage. Can only hit for uh, 30 damage total for a DCE. That's, uh, yeah. Anyways, so this guy, <laughs> the artwork here just looks funny man this is great uh definitely uh you know the japanese right here all these japanese characters um something of a uh, uh very uh, retro to the 
the Japanese art. Uh, there's a story behind that, but I can't recall what the story was. Anyways, we have the Charmiel in there, as well as a Starmie with the Space Beacon here. Star Freeze hit for 30. Uh, the Space Beacon, basically, you discard an energy card and you can add to uh, bring two basic energies. Doesn't doesn't specify, ah, specify if it has to be water energy or not, so as long as it's a basic energy, that's kind of nice. You can bring that back into your hand. Uh, could be useful in an expanded format if you're going to be playing with, uh, let's say, like uh, Blastoise, right? Blastoise, Caldeo, something like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, here we go. Let's take a look and see. Rotata, Rotata, Potato, Potato. We have Charmander, Crab, Voltor, uh, Magnemite, Magmar, and a Magneton right here with Thunder Wave. It is a rare self destruct hit for 80. Too bad Magnezone is not in the set because Magnezone did not exist yet. And there it is, a Doug Triel as well. Uh, surprisingly, it does not have any resistance to lightning. You figure it would have resistance to lightning, right? Just like in the games, right? So, uh, it's weakness to grass. That's to be expected, of course, times two right there. And then we have your Staryu, Onyx, Pikachu, Ponyta, Dodrio, Macho, Full Heal, and Switch. And then an Electabuzz, which is... Oh, look at that! We get a Mega Pidgeot EX right here. Of course, here's the full art, which we would like to have. But if we don't get that, that's okay, too. And here's the Pidgeot right there. We do get this Mega Pidgeot, 220 HP. Call this Pokemon. Uh, has the attack. Mock Cyclone hits for 130. You may have your opponent switch his or her active Pokemon if you want to pitch her bench Pokemon. So, you know, basically make it so that it's kind of like a one-sided uh, escape rope kind of thing. Uh, no retreat cost. It's kind of nice. It's weak to, uh, weak to lightning. Does have that fighting resistance. So there it is. And uh, <laughs> the Mega Pidgeot here, kind of looking like a Super Saiyan right here with some uh, of its hair. You know, uh, yeah. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think it's the intentional design of that Mega Pidgeot here. Uh, maybe we can get the uh, Pidgeot EX at some point. That'd be really nice. So uh, here we go. We get the Onyx Rotata, Star You Weedle, Dodrio, something like that. But but hey, but hey, ooh, and another Secret Rare Executor, and also the. RK9 here, nothing too fancy, nothing too amazing here. So we already have three secret rares. I don't know if you want to call these secret rares or not. They're not really that spectacular besides the number. But uh, I remember looking it up on eBay, and their values aren't even that great. So... Um Here's a Doug Drill. So I guess you can kind of say we can, we can say we pulled three secret rares already, two executors and a Surfing Pikachu. Plus the uh, well, I guess this is not a, a secret rare, but still an ultra rare, right? The uh, Mega Pidgeot right here. We have another Nine Tails. Already two of these. And uh, what do we have off of this one right here? And another Beedrill. We're gonna have to build a Beedrill uh, deck at some point. Maybe we can do this in the expanded format with the Poisonous thing hitting for thirty plus the. Um, very big city gem or something like that. Uh, that could work out pretty well. And here we go. We got a Vulpix Rotata or Potato Potato Ghastly. But I like to buzz Magic Carp two rares in this one. Metapod and Professor Oaks hint. And look at this. We get the Star Me Break right here. Break Star. This attack does a hundred damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Break or yeah, Break Pokemon. Um, and uh, that it's not that great since you know um, if your opponent's not playing any Pokemon Break. And this thing, this attack's not doing anything. Um, yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, you can just team this up with uh, your your Starmie here, and for thirty, or this Starmie here with Balance Bind and something like that. I don't know. Could probably go with this. You know, have the uh, tight weakness, um, maybe. Yeah, so, you know, you got choices, you got choices, you got choices. Of course, this is way back in the next Destinies. You can do Swift, and that can basically go through anything. So that's kind of fun. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and open another pack here. So we have gotten, um, not counting the Secret Rares, which we have three of them. Uh, if we count just the Break and Megas and uh, EXs. Oh, here's a Zapdos. That's a nice pull right here. And it uh, looks like we only had two so far, uh, one EX, one Break. And then, yeah, if you count the uh, three um, secret rares, that's fine, too. So the Zapdos is actually one of my favorite cards as a kid. Uh, this is probably... Actually, this probably was my favorite card. Uh, Thunderbolt is pretty costly for four energy. You've got to discard all energy. Attach this Pokemon. Hits for 170. Can knock out an EX or... Not all the X's, but, you know, if, you have, if you're playing in uh, Expanded, you can use Muscle Bands. This is a basic. You can play Fighting Fury Belt and Standard. You can hit for 180. Uh, plus, the Fighting Fury Belt gives you 40 HP, so you would be sitting at 150 HP. It's pretty solid. Level 64. This Zapdos is jacked up. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, let's open up another pack here, and here we go. Again, that Zapdos is pretty tall. 5'3". It's a big bird. And we have that DCE. We have two rares in this one. We have a Reverse Hollow Farfetch'd. And also, oh, look at that, we get the Dragon Knight here, 180 HP, Dragon Knight ability with the pull-up. I, I should probably work on some pull-ups right now. 
Oh, yeah, I need to work out. Okay, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may put two basic Pokemon, except Dragonite EX, from your discard pile into your hand. This could work very well, uh, especially it being a colorless card here. It could work very well in uh, Mega... Um, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Mega... Um, uh, Rayquaza, yeah, oh my gosh, you brain fart right there. Mega Rayquaza decks, you know, especially if you're going to be using Sky Fueled, and then your your opponent counters the Sky Fueled, you can discard your Shamans, and then you play Dragonite, you play another Sky Fueled, and then you can play your Shamans again, you know, things like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, it could be useful. Hyper Beam's not that great, discard an energy card attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, so uh, no questions asked, like, you just discard an energy card. Uh, it is three energy, uh, f four energies, actually, so two DCs could do the trick, but, you know, again, that's special energies, and you're already dedicating two special energies if you're going to be playing four DCs, already half your DCs, already dedicated onto this Dragonite, so um, not sure if I would recommend that. It does have a high retreat cost, three retreat costs, it does have that fighting resistance, and it is weak to lightning, which is the same thing for your uh, uh, Mega Rayquaza, but... Uh, Anyway, so uh, lots to go still, plenty to open, and here we go. We have the Pokedex, we have the Magic Carp right there. We got the ah, look at this. This is a rare right here, the Eradicate. We have the Shadowy Bite. It's for sixty. This attack to see the sixty damage times the number of special energy cards in your opponent's discard pile. Meaning, if they have three special energy cards, you're gonna hit for one eighty for just. Um, one energy cost. Now, again, if you are playing with, uh, you can play this with uh, Mew EX and then use Dimension Valley in expanded format. And you can actually use Shadowy Bite and Plus Crunch without any energy costs. Think about that. That's pretty cool. Ken Sugimori art. Fantastic Ken Sugimori art. I do like Ken, uh, Ken Sugimori's art. Look at this. Ken Sugimori is an artistic genius. Of course, this is not him right here, but um, wow, I already got five of these ghastlies. Goodness. All right, so what do we have next right here? 77 packs left. That's really good. Uh, that's a nice lucky number there. 77. I wish I had three sevens in a row. We had that, ooh, uh, Blastoise Spirit Link there. Hopefully, we get that Mega Blastoise at some point. We have the Mud Champ right here. Of course, this is not Shadowless. <laughs> I wonder if they're ever going to release a Shadowless version. I wonder if they do have Shadowless uh, right now in this set. Anyways, no first edition here. And uh, trivia, really quick. Um, I believe there's a Manchant version where there's no first edition that's actually more rare than the first edition one, something like that. But uh, counter attack this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack. Even if this Pokemon is knocked out, you can put three damage counters on that attacking Pokemon. So uh, I believe that's the same thing as with the original ones. I don't know if it was three damage counters, maybe it was just one. Seismic Toss for three energies can do 120. Now, again, if you do play special energies, if you say you're playing um, strong energies, because you can have three of these strong energies that already 60 more damage. You can hit for Seismic Toss for 180 damage. That's pretty incredible if you're playing an expanded form. I can have the uh, muscle banner right here hit for 200 damage and that can knock out quite a bit so plus you know this guy's 160 hp that's huge 160 hp my goodness that's pretty impressive we have the mod shop we have the voltorb growl right here magnemite and yeah, we got a couple of spirit links and uh, brock's grit we have that uh, kakuna kakuna matata right there reverse hollow and an electrode for the uh, yeah so the buzz at thunder i've already talked about this in real life when i did a real life pack opening but you know this guy here you can basically discard this uh, this card right here uh, knock him out and then use him as a special energy providing two lightning energies to your lightning pokemon uh could see some special use of that maybe it could be a one-off kind of thing for lightning decks here's that misty's determination reverse hollow and then back-to-back -back electrodes right here plus the pidgeot spirit link right there pretty well it goes very really well with our pidgeot uh, we have a Digla, Charmander, Onyx, Seal, and we have another Magneton right there, as well as another Duck Drill. We got five Duck Drills, my gosh. Ugh, man, too many Duck Drills here, and we already got two of these. Okay, so um, I must build a Duck Shield deck at some point. It looks like that's going to be the story here. And uh, we have a Charmander, we got the maintenance, got the switch, got another Beedrill, plenty of Beedrills, four Beedrills now, I mean, I'm surprised I have more Dark Shields than I have. Do, I do have Beedrills, so that's pretty impressive, you figure a bunch of wasps, you know, they kind of group together, I'm just kidding, okay, we have another, oh my gosh, three of these Arcanines, I'm going to have to build an Arcanine deck at some point. And uh, find a way to be able to retreat him so we can reset that Scorching Breath. Anyways, let's go ahead and open another pack here. And what do we got going for us? We got another Drill, Pikachu, Ponyta, Seal, and Nidoran. And uh, what do we got right here? Another Arcanine. Nice. That's plenty of Arcanines right here. We are already 30 packs in. And only one EX, one break. Oh, two EXs, right? We got the Dragonite. And uh, hey, another Radicate. There are two Radicates right now. Maybe I got to build a Radicate deck. Okay. Um, so again, we've already had plenty to go to work with right now, and uh, uh, plenty of packs that's already been opened. And there it is—we got another Pidgeot. Yes, not another one. No. This is our first Pidgeot since our first one. 
uh, is a Mega Pidgeot. This is our second Pidgeot, which is the non-Mega. And so we have the Mirror Move. This is a lot of reminiscent to the original Pokemon games. I really do like this little line here, man. That is that is fun. That is just like the uh, uh, the, the old base set days where they have that line right there. We have the Feather Dance. It's for 80. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponents at Bench Pokemon. So for three energies, you can do that. Otherwise, you know, that's pretty nice. So full art right there. That is sweet. I will take that any day. So... Um, we have the Voltorb, Diglett, Charmander, Charmeleon right here. Look at that. Maybe we can get the Charizard. We have yet to get a Charizard. Where is that Charizard? Here's a Raichu. Sweet. Raichu is awesome. We have the Energize as well as a Spark Bolt. Hitting for 70 plus. 70 more damage. You discard all energy cards. We can hit for 140 plus. If you do, you know, Muscle Band, something like that, in expanded format, you can hit for a lot more. And what we got next right here, it looks like we're going to go with a Drowsy Star, Electabuzz, Magikar, Weedle, Porygon, Z, you know, just a regular Porygon. And so many Doug Thrills. My goodness. We have three sets of or two sets of threes for Doug Trials <laughs> six of them okay we have the opponents of Drowsy Nidoran Growlithe here Macha we got a Poliwhirl we got a Coffin we got the Brock's Grit and the Maintenance and here we go oh we got Mega Blastoise right here 220 HP Mega Blastoise Hydro Bombard of course this is the full art version of the um a mega um mega blastoise here this one is coming from the uh what's what set is this um this is from the original base set right or xy base set isn't it no no i'm not sure which set was this from this guy right here uh is reprint no no these guys are the same print what the heck um huh. interesting i actually don't know which one is this from um but yeah here this is from xy base set and this is from uh, this is from Evolutions, that's right. The artwork looks basically the same. I mean, come on now, you know. <laughs> uh, the only difference is... Oh, this one's Dread Launcher, that's right. It hits for 180, flip a coin, if, this, if, uh, if Tails discard two energies attached to your uh, this Pokemon. So, it's a little different, right? Hydro Bombard is a little different here. This guy is the Hydro Bombard one, hits for 120, and can do 30 damage to two bench Pokemon. Uh, that's going to be a reprint of this guy right here from the XY base set. And, of course, this is also a reprint right here for Hydro Bombard. So I'm surprised they only have one Dread Launcher here. The Dread Launcher, hidden for 180 HP. Um, did I ever build a deck out of this guy? I feel like I did. Um, if I didn't, maybe I should build another one. Anyway, so go ahead and open another pack right here. What are we going to get off of this pack? Pack number whatever. I can't even keep track of how many packs I've already opened. We have the Azriel, Staryu, Weedle, Pikachu, and a Machop right there. we got the Coughing, as well as, ooh, a Polyrath. Aha, I remember having that as a kid. And here is a Mew. No kidding. we got the Mew right here, number, one, uh, number 50 out of 108. A neutral shield ability, prevent all effects of attacks and clean damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's evolution Pokemon. So, kind of like a uh, safeguard, you know, safeguards against uh, EXs. This is going to be a shield against uh, evolution Pokemon. So, only basics can hit uh, this Mew here. It's only 40 HP. That's pretty pathetic. Ken Sugimori, great artwork here. This must be a new one. And this is hollow here. You can't really tell, but you can see a little glitter from his tail. Uh, Cybolt here hits for 30. Flip a coin of heads. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, again, this, you know, these things are, are okay, um, certainly, you know, safeguard and, you know, neutral sealed here are not as useful anymore because Hex Maniac, uh, can just shut this off and then, you know, plus this guy's only 40 HP, it's easy to knock out, um, and also, uh, let's say, for example, you're playing against Greninja, you know, Greninja can knock this guy out using the, uh, giant water stream, since it's not an attack, it's an ability, and that'll go right over this neutral shield here, um, all right, so let's go ahead and open another pack here. We got 64 left to go. We have already gone through 23 minutes, and I'm not even halfway. Are you kidding me? Uh, too much chokes back to back. We have a dugong here. I'm gonna have to speed this up a little bit because, um, yeah, I mean, usually I try to get these in 100 packs within one half hour, roughly. So many of these uh, bee drills. Are you kidding me? Now we're getting a nice little swarm of hornets going right here. Five bee drills so far. So I think our, our uh, the most we have for these rares are probably wow three rares in this one. We got a Gyarados far fetched and a secret rare. You come use Do Duo here. The uh, what number is this guy? Uh, this is one twelve out of one away. Can't be used in any tournaments when Dojo retreats. Hold this card and throw it as hard as you can because Dojo is running away. Throw the card horizontally with a snap to get the furthest distance uh, okay and uh, you can kind of see this this little little right here it can't be used anywhere so <laughs> what's the point of that okay you can't really throw it so um i don't know 
That's a silly ability. Uh, we have the Sandshrew, Weedle, stuff like that. Ponyta, Tangela, and here's another Mewtwo. We've got plenty of those now. We got This is a Reverse Hollow one. Here's another Arcanine. We've got plenty of Arcanines now. I think the most we have for rares is Dogtrio, Dogtrio with six. It's definitely got the lead, but I think Arcanine and the uh, uh, Beedrill is catching up right here. And here is Dogtrio. Nope, Dogtrio takes a commanding lead at, num at number seven right here. Seven do copies of Dogtrio Dog here. Dogtrio, Dogtrio. What am I talking about? Dogtrio. Okay, so, uh, so far, the uh, cl next closest. Whoa, we got a Charizard right here. This is a reprint from the uh, XY base set, of course. Uh, all the way back over here. Ooh, yeah, this is, I got four copies of these, of course. This is the same guy. Wing Attack, Combustion Blast. This is the full art version here. Uh, the Stoke One Fire Blast, that's the full art there, too. It's a reprint of this guy. You can kind of see the, the, the font's a little different. It's got a, a yellow border here. Otherwise, you know, the artwork's the same. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let's keep moving on. I know you guys are want to see something else besides me open packs all day, right? I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so we got a bunch of uh, non-interesting things here. Here's our first Dugong. No, we've already got a Dugong. Okay, I mean, I, I, oh, yeah, we already, yeah, we already opened a couple of these. It's a super deep dive. That's right. We already talked about that. Um, Again, Doug Trio is definitely in the lead for number of uh, numbers of copies of rares. So this is our sixth Beedrill. So Beedrill's catching up pretty soon. Uh, it was at five, now it's at six. Now it's only one away from that seven. Can Doug Trio make another appearance right here? Here's that next rare. And no, it's the Electro. Electro trying to make a comeback as well. Not a comeback, but trying to make... Make a case for itself inside this race. This is a three-man race, or three-Pokemon race, between Dugtrio, Beedrill, and uh, RK9. So here's another Mew. I feel like Mewtwo, uh, we did pull a couple copies of Mewtwo, but... Uh it's uh, not quite as much as RK9 or uh, Beedrill. And so, whoa, here it is. Here's the Dragonite. This is the full art version. Uh, we already looked at the, the pull-up ability, Hyper Beam, and it was well doing 30 damage plus discarding energy from our opponent's Pokemon. Um, that's pretty awesome. We get this full art here. I think that's it. There's no such thing as a Mega Dragonite yet, but, you know, we'll wait and see. Mega Dragonite. It's looking pretty cool. I'm sure they're going to release a Mega Dragonite someday. That would be awesome. All right, so we have the Blastoise Spirit Link. We have the Nidoking King right here, 150 HP Nidoking King. Here's a Dugong right there. That Nidoking King here, pretty impressive. Hitting for that Tail Swing for 100 damage. This attack is 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It's basic. Or, yeah, basic Pokemon, so. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, of course, it won't do anything if all your opponent's active Pokemon, no, I mean, all your opponent's bench Pokemon are evolved. Um, hey, we got a, a uh, Venusaur right here, and as well as Team Rocket. Here comes Team Rocket. It's a supporter. It is a rare. It's 113 out of... 108, so it is a secret rare. Uh, each player turns all of his or her prize cards faced up. Those prize cards remain faced up for the rest of the game. So you can only play one supported card during your turn. There, that's to be expected. So uh, you only want one copy of these because why would you want to play more copies? And if you do want to play a copy, you know, it, it can basically replace your, um, uh, what is it, uh, your town map, you know. Um, so, ooh, a Charizard Spirit Link. We have the Electrode here as well. Nothing too fancy there. I forgot to see what the count was for the Electrode. We have yet to see a, an RK9 or a uh, Beedrill in a while. There's another Dugong here. We got five Dugongs, so... Wow, man, these Dugongs are sure making a case for themselves. If they get to six, number six, then, yeah, it's going to be a four-man race or four-Pokemon race right here. And here is a Starmie, so I only got two of those. I wouldn't mind getting some more Starmies at all. Um... All right, so here we go. What do we got going for us right now? We have the Polyvore Caterpie. We got the Polyworld and two rares in this one. We have another Beedrill as well. And so uh, this is our first hollow Beedrill. Uh, I believe that is hollow. And so here's another Dugong. We got six of these. Wow. Okay, so uh, it's a tie between Beedrill, Dugong, uh, RK9 at six, and then Dugtrio at seven. And here's another RK9. Okay, so RK9 uh, is at, technically it's at 7. Oh, we got a full RPG over here. I'll take it. Oh, man, we have a pretty decent ratio right now. Pretty decent. We're already pa we've already passed the halfway mark. I didn't realize that. We're past the halfway mark. So, um, what do we got right here? We got a chance of you. My goodness, double edge is still the same. It didn't get much of an upgrade. Uh, it is 120 HP, so that the HP did get a little bit of an upgrade. Scrunch with the quantity of heads to prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks during your opponent's next turn. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up another pack right here. That double edge right there was not that impressive. Hidden 80 to itself. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Okay, and Beedrill. Wow, we have seven Beedrills. It is now tied with Doug Trio. Uh, Arcanine's tied as well, because uh, Arcanine had that reverse hollow one, so it has six of the regular Arcanines, and then... And there is... <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. So RK9 is actually at seven. So it is. It's, it's tied all around. It's tied. We have another secret rare. You can use the drill here. Um, 
Wow. I, I mean, are you kidding me? Like, uh, RK9, Doug Trio, and Beedrill are all tied at seven. And look, wow, look at this. We got a Misty's Determination full art. Misty's Determination. This card card from your hand. If you do look at the top eight cards of your deck, put one of them into your hand and shuffle the other cards into your deck. Now, this is going to be really good late in your game. And if you just need to get that one card, uh, you can play Misty's Determination. Let's say you only got 10 cards left, right? So you, you're going to look at the top eight. There's two cards left. And you got a really high probability of getting the card that you need just like that. So you could see that really well in late game situations. Could very be uh, be really good for uh, early game too. You never know. It's just to get that one card that you could need. So uh, we have a Starmie right there. And for the rare, we have another Executor. Three of these, they don't feel very secret rare anymore. Uh, I've been getting a lot of these secret rares right now. And I just don't feel very special. Alrighty. And here's another. Wow. We have a Beedrill takes the lead. Where are you at, Doug Trio? Where are you at, brother? Where is these Doug Trios? Because they are falling behind. The Beedrill has taken the lead. Dugong here is at seven. My gosh. So we have Dugong, Doug Trio, and uh, RK9 all tied up at seven. Here's a Gyarados. We got two of these. Okay, so, oh uh, man, are you kidding me? Uh, that Doug Trio, it, had the, it held the lead for so long. Oh my goodness, Arcanine just took the lead. Now remember, we do have this one Arcanine. I am counting this Arcanine as well. I have one copy of the Hollow one. So it is a tie right now between Beedrill and Arcanine. And for second place, we have Dugong and Doug Trio. So um, Beedrill and Arcanine right now. And here is another Needle King. I think I already got one other Needle King that's uh, not Hollow, like that one right there. Um, but, uh, yeah, my goodness, um, can we, are we going to find, oh, no, no, it's just, it's just a nine tails, nothing too exciting there. All right, this is, as much as I don't, I don't want to have duplicates, like a lot of duplicates of a rare, um, this is just getting funny, this is just getting silly, oh my goodness, Beedrill is taking a commanding lead, are you kidding me? Beedrill has nine copies, and I believe it's RK9, and, uh, RK9 has eight, so, um, RK9 has eight, and uh, Dugong and Beedrill both have seven. So uh, that's about that's the top four right now. Uh, it's pretty, still pretty close. Oh, RK9 right there. RK9 has nine copies, nine copies. Beedrill and RK9 are again tied at nine copies, and then uh, right now uh, Dugong and Doug Trio are falling behind. And woo, look at this. We get a Clefairy here, 40 HP, Sing and Metronome, and. Um, I don't think we have a Clefable, a reprint of Clefable anywhere. But man, these reprints look just gorgeous. I, I love them. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and open another pack right here. We have 30 packs left. Uh, we are well over the 30 minute mark, but uh, I'd say, okay, we got a couple of these Rattatas right there. We have a Mewtwo. And here's another secret rare team. Here comes Team Rocket. <laughs> oh, great. That's nice. Uh, I have quite a few Mewtwo's now, but not enough where we want to start counting them. Um, so the, oh, ho, ho, here's a Crimson Dive. Charizard, 220 HP. Crimson Dive hits for 300 damage. It's 50 damage to itself. Of course, you can use something like a Protection Cube. I believe Protection Cube is not legal anymore. You can use that in the standard format, I mean, in the expanded format, and uh, protect yourself from hitting yourself from 50 damage. And so, again, back to the race at hand. This Mewtwo is showing up quite a bit. It's at five right now. If it gets one more, we might have to start counting it. It's going to be a late in the game uh, catch up kind of thing if uh, Mewtwo really wants to be in this race right here. Doug Trio. Oh, where are you at, Doug Trio? Well, we do get a Hitmo, Hitmonchan right here. 90 HP, level 33. Special punch. Hits for 90 damage. Of course, this is a fighting Pokemon. You can use something like a Fighting Fury Belt. Gives you another uh, 40 HP plus 10 more damage on your special punch. Uh, so you're going to be hitting for 100 damage. You're going to be using three. If you're, if you're going to be using three special energies, using the um, strong energies, that's going to be another 60. So you can hit for 160 damage for, you know, for a basic Pokemon here. I mean, that's... A lot to invest if you're going to be investing a lot of special energies on that guy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can still do a lot of damage. At least two hit knockout on most uh, Megas right there. And here's another Polyrath. It's actually our No, we've already got another Polyrath. So that's two Polyraths. We're not going to be counting those. Uh, no Doug Trios. Wow, Doug Trio is just... Uh, it's not showing up no more. These Diglets are showing up. Man, Diglets are showing up. 17 Diglets. Are you kidding me? 17 Diglets. Here's another Chansey right here. Out of 100 packs, we got 17 Diglets. Wow. That... Yeah, that just happened, guys. Okay, we have another Mew here. So we got three Mews. Mew is by no means going to catch up to um, uh, the, uh, what do you call it, uh, Mewtwo here. We have the Surfing Pikachu, another one of these. I have yet to get the Flying Pikachu. That would be really cool if we did get the Flying Pikachu. But 
I have a feeling we're not gonna get it since they are secret rares. They shouldn't be showing up as much as they have. I'd be nice if I did get this many secret rares uh, in other sets. That'd be really cool. But uh, of course, that's not gonna be happening. Whoa, Mew is catching up to Mewtwo. No, back to back Mew packs. Mewtwo is at number five, Mew is at number four. Uh, maybe we have a tight race between these two guys just for fun. Oh no, never mind. Mewtwo's saying, nope, I'm gonna show up again. And you're gonna have six copies. Uh, Mew Mewtwo has a commanding lead over Mew. Mew only have four four copies and Mewtwo having six. And um, oh, here is a Mega Venusaur again. This is a reprint from uh, this guy over here. Crisis Vine way back in the XY base set right here. Uh, so that's a nice little reprint right there. And um, so, man, are you kidding me? This this is incredible. We have yet to see any Dugtrios in such a long time. We haven't seen the Dugong in a while. Oh, my gosh. We have way too many Beedrills right now. We have 11 Beedrills. 11. Okay, Beedrill is going to be the winner here because... Um, Oh wow, Electrode's making a case too. Electrode has uh, six copies, so it's it's definitely making a case of uh, trying to make a comeback here or making a run to try to catch up with uh, Dugong and Doug Trio. And Doug Trio Slack. Oh my gosh, this Mewtwo just caught up to Doug Trio. Doug Trio, where'd you, where you, man, where'd you at, dude? You were leading for so long. You were leading for the first half, and now you just you're just a no show, man. Doug Trio choked. Doug Trio, you ch oh my gosh, this Beedrill shows up again. How many, how, can, can someone tell me if you have more than 12 Beedrills right now? Beedrill have won. There's no way RK9 can ch catch up. There is, we're opening pack number, um, I don't know, there's, there's 18 packs after this one. There's no way. I, I, I Place your bets right now. No way. Oh my gosh, Mewtwo is gonna, it, it, Mewtwo just made a huge run. Mewtwo has passed up Dugong and Doug Trio. They were tied for a little bit. And Mewtwo just passes them up. Mewtwo's like, man, I feel offended that Mew is catching up. And then Mew just shows up and just, like, takes it. He just takes over. And uh, here's a Starmie. Five copies of Starmie. Wow. The storylines here are incredible. Can, can, can Are you guys kidding me? We're not even looking for... Oh, my gosh! Another Beedrill! Eleven copies of the regular Beedrill. Two of these hollows. We have 13 copies of Beedrills. No way. We are playing for second right now. Everyone's playing for second right now. RK9 is playing for second right now. And uh, this is just incredible, people. Starmie is making a huge push to make its case to run for the most frequent card in the 100 packs of Evolution. That's quite the title. Um, hey, two Charizards. That's sweet. All right. Nice stuff right there. And what do we got right here? We got another Diglett. So many Diglets. Are you kidding me? So many Diglets. Here is another Polyrath. Nothing too exciting there. And Dugtrio! Dugtrio, you showed up, brother! Here you are, Dugtrio, in all your glory. We have yet to get a Reverse Hollow Dugtrio, but... Oh, man. Uh, let's go ahead and open another pack. So, Dugong is is last. Uh, Dugong is last. Uh, Dugong is just out of the race. There's no more Dugongs. And this Beedrill is just beaten. Just beating up on everyone else. Wow. Beedrill. Just calm down, Beedrill. You already won. There's there's no way RK9 can win. Oh, we got a Slowbro EX right here. Of course, these aren't... This is not really the gold border. Uh, it's just the yellow border as seen in the old, um, you know, the old base set. But slack off, hits for uh, heal 60 damage, and you can't attack in your next turn. Of course, you can't reset that if you're playing expanded. You can use Caldito to rush in and retreat, or you can use uh, Zoroark in standard format to stand in and retreat and reset that. And then we have the Flash Splash hit for uh, 100 damage. And that's about it. So we have yet to get the uh, Slow King um, EX right here, but uh, that's okay. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what else we got right here. We have the Charmander Diglett Steel. Uh, seal, not Steel. <laughs> oh, Doug Trio. You want to beat... Uh, he Doug Trio wants second, man. Doug Trio is showing up here. Doug Trio's like, we got 10 packs left. I'm going to show up and I'm going to take second. He's going to take second from that RK9. We'll see if he can make it. And uh, so Dugong is totally out of the race. The race has gone, is blown out. It's just, uh, there's no, no one's going to beat Beedrill. No, nobody's going to beat Beedrill right now. Nobody. Um, but uh, we will have to find out who takes second. The second race is pretty close. Uh, Doug Trio is making a little comeback right here to catch up to the RK9. And let's see if RK9 can um, um, show up here in the last, uh, you know, last few single digits. Uh, packs right here that we're going to be having. And what do we got right here? An Electrode. Electrode's got seven. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Electrode's got seven. Huh. So what do we got? We have the Tangula, Vulpix, 
I uh, got Onyx right there, and RK9, you, you, here it is, brother. You have 10 copies. You have a very good lead over uh, Doug Trio. Man, for the first half, Doug Trio, it looked like Doug Trio was going to take it, and then out of nowhere, well, actually, b is always hanging out. Oh, my goodness, Doug Trio shows up right there. Doug Trio's like, nah, uh Mm-mm, nah, -uh, nah, on my watch, man. I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up, and I'm going to bring uh, two more Two more of myself in the last three packs. Let's see if you can do it. Let's see if you can do it. Let's see if you can get that lead. Oh no, it's a Gyarados. Nope, nope, nope. He's got. Okay, so he's he's got he's got two more chances here to to tie uh, with Arcanine, I think, right? So no, he, he needs to get this one right here. So drum roll. Here we go. Oh, it's a Starmie. Starmie got number seven for it. And, uh, man, talk about duplicates. My gosh, I got so many duplicates. It's not even funny. Oh, ooh, we got a bl uh, Blaster's are here with uh, Rapid Spin and uh, Splash Bomb. So, uh, no full art. You know, here's the full art right there. Here's the full art on this guy. You know, that's kind of nice. Okay. So, um, let's see. This is the last one, guys. Last one right here. Can Doug Trio uh, kind of squeeze in right here? And here we go, drum rolls, and... Oh no, it's Eradicate, and that's it, guys. That is it. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the results. Uh, let's go to my collection. I'm already here at the collection. Okay, so uh, let's take a look and see. Let's go and do um, set name XY12 here. <laughs> All right. So... Um, Let's go ahead and uh, filter for only these. Uh, yes, I think that's what we want. Just take a look at the rares. So we have um, 10 RK9s. We have 14 Beedrills. Uh, what else here? Uh, seven Dugongs. Dugong is totally out of the race. So 10 Doug Trios. We have a tie for second place between RK9 and Doug Trio. Look at that. Doug Trio could not take the lead, though, um, from RK9, even though Doug Trio had lead for a while. And, uh, oh, we got eight Mute, nine Mewtwo's. Mewtwo definitely took third place. Mewtwo took third place for sure. And, uh, that was it. Starmie kind of, kind of was a late bloomer. Uh, seven copies of Starmie. Um, but yeah, I mean, otherwise, uh, Starmie had a chance. Could have, could have, uh, you know, probably caught up. The same thing, Electro, Electro, Dugong, and Starmie all took fourth place. Uh, Mewtwo taking third, tied for second place is RK9 and uh, Doug Trio. And then definitely first place winner is 14 copies of Beedrill here. And uh, that's going to be it, I think, for our trainers. Um, we did get uh, some pretty good stuff on our trainers. Uh, we have the Misty's Determination Fuller right there and a, two copies of Here Comes Team Rocket uh, for our, uh, let's see here, let's go Pokemon EX. For these guys, uh, we have two Charizard. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, of uh, EXs. 13 EXs and one break. So... Not bad, uh, plus if you count the secret rares. So we're talking about probably 20, right? If we count secret rares, so 13, 14, uh, plus 3 over there, 17. Yeah, we're looking at 20. So out of out of 100 packs, we're at like a 5 to 1 ratio. That's pretty decent. Pretty decent. So, um, so yeah. Well, anyways, that's going to be it for today's uh, pack opening. 100! Uh, Pokemon Evolutions packs and if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up if you guys are new to the channel feel free to subscribe if you guys are returning subscribers thanks so much for being a part of this channel you guys are awesome take care have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later goodbye